Hello, good day. Welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at trigonometry. So what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is a study of triangles in relation to their size and angle. For instance, you, we have a right angle triangle. It's a right angle triangle and you have an angle here called theta. Let's say this triangle here, this is A, B, C. So the angle, the side opposite, um, directly facing the angle is what we know as opposite. While the other side facing the right angle, the right, the 90 degree angle is known as what? The hypotenuse. And why this other side is known as adjacent. So, there are three, three basic trigonometric ratios known as your sine, that's one, which we, we, in short form, in maths, we write it this way as sine. The second is the cosine, which we write as what? Cos. And the third is what? The tangent, which we write as tan. So these are the various uh, trigonometric ratios in, uh, tri in maths. And we are also going to see the inverse. That's the inverse of this particular uh, ratios and know, see what they are called later on. So to solve trigonometry ratio, we apply what we know called as so ka toi where your O means the opposite, your A means what? The adjacent, that's this side. Why your H means the hypotenuse. That's this side. So for us to get a sine theta, if we're asking a question to get sine theta, how do we find this out? We know that sine is so. So here it is. So sine theta what is so that would be the opposite over our hypotenuse so from here let's say this is a and this is c and this is b so from here our opposite which is this side is equal to a over what's the hypotenuse which is what c so this is how we look for our sine theta. Then to get our cos theta, we know ka. This is the formula we use. We know ka. So ka is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's this, adjacent over hypotenuse. And what is this? Our adjacent is B. That is B over C. So this is how we solve for our cos theta. To get our tan, tan theta, remember tan theta is what? Twa. That is opposite over adjacent. So this is what we have over adjacent. And what will be our answer here? That is, our opposite is A over adjacent B. So this is how we look for our trigonometric ratio. This is the formula we apply. So to get to know the inverse, that's the reciprocal of this particular trig. This, this, uh, day, this, uh, this is, this is number one. The inverse of, of sine is what we know as cosine cosecan or called cosec that's the short form which is the inverse of our sine theta 
an inverse of sine theta just means you just take c bring c up put a down so we have c over a also the inverse of our course is what we know as secant shortly called sec inverse of cos theta which is equal to just bring c up take b down so c over b and lastly the inverse of tan is what we know as co cotagent shortly called cot which is the inverse of tan theta from here what do we do we just take b up bring a down so we have b over a so this is how we look for the various basic trigonometric ratios now we have what we call special angles in trigonometry special angles now there are three special angles we have we have the first one is what angle 45 degree so to to know the special angle of an angle 45 degree there are some assumptions taken in mass that we have a right angle triangle with this with this side the opposite and the adjacent mean one therefore our hypotenuse will be what root 2 so to get our sine 45 degree will be what 1 over root 2 that's this our uh, angle as 45 degrees so sine is what opposite over hypotenuse which is one over root two then our cos 45 degree will be what also one over root two that is our what adjacent over hypotenuse then tan 45 degree will be what tan is what opposite over adjacent which is one over one which is equal to one so these are special angles in mass which we have to know by heart our next special angle is angle 30 where we have angle 30 degree where we have also a right angle triangle which has been divided into two and this is one part where this angle is 60 degree we're going to take 30 and 60 together and this angle is what 30 degree so here we assumed this to be 2 and this to be 1 and our opposite will be what root 3 i hope we remember the pythagoras rule which says our hypotenuse is the, squ uh, the square root of the square of opposite plus the square of the adjacent so here what will be our sine 30 degree sine 30 degree will be what opposite over our hypotenuse which is what 1 over 2 and what is our sine cos 30 degree our cos 30 is that's adjacent over our hypotenuse and what is our adjacent here? Root 3 over 2. And what is our ten, ten 30 degree? 30 is opposite over adjacent. That is what? 1 over root 3. Let's put sine 60 here. How do we get sine 60? Our sine 60 degree will be equal to, this is our sine 60, is opposite over what? Our hypotenuse, which is root 3 over 2 and our cos 60 degree will be what our cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and which, which is adjacent this is adjacent and this is our hypotenuse that's 1 over 2 and our tan 60 degree will be what our opposite that is root 3 over our adjacent so this is what root 3 over 1 which is still give us root 3 so these are the special angles in a trigonometric ratio. Thank you for staying tuned to Destined to Win Tutorials. Please like, subscribe and share this video. Bye.